Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today, in this video, earlier today, you probably seen about the title already, but earlier today I was playing Minecraft and I was thinking, what would happen if I were to want to get my own, like create my own texture pack? No add on, but a texture pack. So I thought to myself, that would be interesting. I went to Google and searched up how to create a custom texture pack. Now, all I saw were videos for Windows 10. I couldn't find a single video about Chromebook. But this could have been done by many other people, but I just don't know. But this, from all I know, that I figured this out. But of course, I it could have been, I, I haven't. But first off, you want to go to either the link in the description or you can copy me exactly. Microsoft add-ons. Minecraft add-on, sorry. This link, like, yeah, you should have saw. And then if you do the link, if you go to the link in the description, it'll just probably just make you download the thing. Not make you, like, have you download the thing. It's this right here. Resource packs. We'll download that, and that's going to be downloading. Now, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel. Then what you want to do is open up your files here. And then you'll see it as it is downloaded right oops right here now if you're starting off I suggest you grab just these that I'm gonna be showing you if you're starting off just grab these and start for these you can get other ones if you're like if you know like you're good with them but after you have that what you want to do is you want to copy Go back to your downloads or anywhere as long as you're able to do something. Create a new folder, name it anything, open it, and paste it. Now, when you pasted it, just let's wait. You just have to wait, but I'm not gonna wait because I've tried to do this video once and it did not work out. So just wait until everything's done being posted and then open up your pack. Now, then you might be wondering, you open up your Textures like you you're gonna have more than this, but I deleted most so if you want to copy this go ahead and copy it Um, but now When we're in our pack You want to go to this website, which is also in the description if you don't know what this website is go to playful uh, I would go to advanced but like, Come on I'll, I'll, you guys probably probably don't know about this but basically, you want to go into here. First off, you you have to start off with a pack, right? Like, you gotta get that custom pack. I'm gonna go in here. Oops. Okay, yeah. And then it should just pop up if this is your first thing. Now, you have the pack icon. So, you just want to, you know, do whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. This will be the pack icon. Now, what you want to do to save it? You want to click save. Go to PNG and just click download. Then open up your files, go here, go paste. Uh oh. Uh oh, I, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, don't do that. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. Grab your pack icon and then click copy. Open the pack, like open that up, click paste. Then you want to get rid of that. Oh, shoot, I'm not even in the right area. I'm not the biggest of brains. Wait, what? How did what? What? I, I'm getting lost here. I'm sorry. So delete um the main one. And this is probably gonna have a one after it. You wanna rename it to get rid of the one and have no space. And then boom, that's the text back. Now let's say you wanna you know get a custom painting. Get you get this, drag it here, and click create new. Now, once you click that, it'll be here. So Let's say you want to get a custom painting, so go to like, 
you know, search, search, search. Search, search up me. Search, search my name up. You don't have to. I'm not saying you do. But, you know, if you want to, you know, like. Then, you can grab anything. Let's just grab my old profile picture. No, copy image address. Or you can download it, it doesn't even matter. But, if you don't have an image and you don't know what to put. If you do have your own images, go ahead, do that. If you um, add, click add to current for that. Now, obviously, shrinking it. And let's say I want, I want to make it to this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in. And if it's not the right size for which one you want, just go to arrange, click look aspect, turn that off. And then so it's able to move whatever way you want. For now, we're going to put that on because it's pretty sure it's perfect size. So once you see that it's like this, you can go up to this box that down and go like that and then boom and then how you save it keep the name go to png download and then show on folder and then you're gonna cut this if you want you don't have to you can keep it and i'm gonna cut it wait i'm gonna cut it never mind then um, then you're gonna go into paintings, you're gonna paste it, you're gonna delete the original one. Now, of course, you can add multiple paintings, just make sure you don't like overlap because then that's gonna mess a lot of things up. So, then just do that, and then you can check if you made sure you did it right, and boom. You did it right. Uh, it should look like, of course, it's gonna be little pixels, but yeah. But then a lot of things that you know, you got the blocks. You know, it's pretty obvious. But a lot of things people don't know, or what probably want to do mainly, is you know, like edit armor. So you just do what I just told, showed you. Um, and you can edit any of this armor, the elytra. Uh, pretty obvious. Just go, just you know, bring it in. Um, oops, sorry. You know. Grab it, bring it in, and then, like, you know, change it the colors. Just don't go. I mean, you can, but that's going to look weird. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, environment, you change the sun. Sun. Items, what they look like. You can change the enchantment item glint. Uh, other blocks, yeah. A lot of blocks, I just realized. Um,. Misc. Oh, I just showed that. I'm having troubles find, finding out where I'm trying to go. Oh, yeah. You can change the, um, the UI. Now, this is mostly for Bedrock Edition. And then, if you don't know how to, um, get Bedrock Edition, I mean, like, get, like, download mods on Bedrock Edition, I'm not expecting you to know. I mean, if you do, then you do, but, like, Basically, what you want to do is, basically, what you want to do is, if you have a USB, you don't need to, but it's easiest if you have a USB. I'm going to show you the USB way. Plug in your USB. I have a pretty bad USB, but that it doesn't matter. Plug in your USB. Go to your uh, downloads. Oh, another thing. To finish off your pack, when you're sure that you got mostly everything done, for that for that section time uh zip it and just wait for it to zip i actually did not have this done so we're going to way through it but when you zip it you're going to send it over to your usb you're going to copy and send it over here see i've done this on my on already to make i have a whole texture pack that i'm working on um so there'll be more of that in the future i kind of didn't want to spoil it but you'll see videos um, see, here's the folder, and here's the zip file. Now, when it's done loading, you're going to paste it into here, and put your USB, mostly I'm going to say this is for Xbox. You're going to grab this USB, put it into your Xbox, go to Files Downloader, and if you know how to, like, do all that stuff, like, you want, you know videos on, ha on how to do it, you shouldn't really need my help to tell you it, but I'm just going to continue anyway. Um, you're going to go in there... 
You're going to get the down from the removable storage, put it into downloads, then unzip it to become a folder, then put it in your resources, and then you should be done. So that's how you do it. As you can see, and then open up the main folder. You have your stuff, textures. Now I'm just going to give a sneak peek at what mine looks like for you, some people's. This is, um, I'm going to open up the. You know, yeah, I'll open up the same. This is what mine looks like. Little smiley face. So that's that video for you. Um, if you guys like the video, subscribe, and. I actually have a couple of tags. See you next time. I hope this video helped.